year, year, year. Your boy all day, dude 47 out here for real. Popping off AMPM, revisiting as much rugby league information as possible. So you don't miss any cruise rugby league information watching this video all the way through to the end as for always. So, special edition or something just because we're out here in the wilderness on a fun Sunday. Sunday fun day. Right now, the 1992 round 22 game, which will prove to be the last of a game that King Wally Lewis would play in first grade. And it was an extremely rare win by the Gold Coast Seagulls. And he got them the match winning try. But because it's um, one of the immortals, one of the all-time greats of the game, we'll chuck a whole bunch of other assorted information in as well. So... So first of all, Wally Lewis, one of the greats of all time, playing 5-8 or lock for Queensland, Australia, Brisbane Broncos and Gold Coast Seagulls. Um, just his like, overall aura, overall presence on the field, as well as having all the attacking skills and brutal bone, bone crunching defence. Just his leadership was brilliant throughout his career. And he, of course, spearheaded Queensland's dominance in state of origin throughout the 1980s and also the unbeatable Australian teams. Um, Australian um, test match teams in 1982 and in 1986, I believe, went undefeated both years. Like for the uh, World Tour, playing every other nation, and went undefeated with um, King Wally in, in charge, so to speak. So that's why he serves to get a video all for himself, as well as the final try he ever got. So for Queensland, Wally Lewis was playing, of course, years 1979 up to 1991, representing Queensland. Uh, 38 times, picking up 10 tries, 2 goals and 2 field goals for Queensland, but most importantly, of those 38 appearances for Queensland, 30 as captain, and picking up an unprecedented and since unbeaten 8th Man of the Match awards in State of Origin. And that's evident because Queensland won State of Origin every year in the 80s, except 1985 and 1996. New South Wales only won twice, a series twice in the 80s, 85 and 86. Queensland winning every other year in the 80s, with Wally Lewis spearheading the spearheading the dominance, so to speak. And like I said, for Australia, pretty much the same thing was going on. And for Australia, he played the years 1981 up to 1991. This time, like some similar sort of stats, 34 games for Australia with 11 tries, no goals, and two field goals. But then, unfortunately, uh, King Wally, he had to wait until 1988 to actually play first grade because at the time, when he started playing, late 70s, there weren't any... Um, there weren't any Queensland teams in the in the competition yet. It wasn't until 1988 when Newcastle Knights ended, but that's for another video. But also Brisbane Broncos and Gold Coast Giants, as they were called at the time, both ended the comp in 1988. So Wally Lewis finally got to play first grade on a regular basis for the Brisbane Broncos. So for the Broncos, he played 1988, 1989, 1990, getting um, playing a total of um, 46 games, getting 20 tries and 11 goals for Brisbane, a total of 102 points. And not even he, yeah, not even a player of his calibre could um could um get from their maiden premiership. They had to wait two years later until 1992 when they won their third grand final beating St George 28-8. But in 1998, Brisbane did what they, in their very first year, in fact, did the, what they're renowned for doing, started the season brilliantly. Then after the state of origin period in the middle of the season, didn't play as well over the second half of the season, which I've done again this year, 2024 which they did two years ago, 2022, when they were top four for a lot of the year, but ended up missing the top eight. So Brisbane did the same thing in 1988, even with the best efforts of Wally Lewis. They, of course, finished the season in seventh place, and that wasn't enough to make the finals, because back then the finals used to be the top five teams only. Then in 1989, a bit better, but still no cigar. In 1989, Brisbane and Cronulla both finished the competition, the regular season, on 28 competition points in equal fifth place. And under the finals rules at the time, for and against didn't count. What would happen would be um, teams fifth and sixth would have to have a playoff for fifth place if they were on the same competition points. And in that playoff for fifth place in 1989, unfortunately, while the Lewis Broncos were destroyed by Cronulla 38 points to 14, in what was Cronulla's one of one of Cronulla's finest ever games. 1990, no better, but still no cigar. 1990, Brisbane finishing with 33 competition points to finish the regular season in second place. They finally made the finals easily, but in their first ever finals game, they were no match for Penrith, losing 26-16 to Panthers. In their second chance finals game, they just managed to beat Manly 12-4. Then in the preliminary final, for a shot at the grand final, they were no match for the Raiders, going down to Canberra 32 points to 4. So definitely not the way Wally Lewis deserved to bow out. And then he had to go over to Gold Coast. I just said they were called Gold Coast Giants in their first year, 1988. Well then by this time, 1991, they 
pulling themselves for the seagulls. And unfortunately, our kills task with improving their fortunes. After finishing near the bottom of the ladder in their first three years, 1988, 1989 and 990, unfortunately Gold Coast then got three wooden spoons. 991, 992, 993. And I'll obviously have those wooden spoons videos coming up eventually. Not there yet, but eventually we'll get to those as well. And Wally Lewis for Gold Coast playing uh, 34 games in just two years, 1991, 92, 34 games, six tries and three goals. So obviously not even he could lift them and get them competitive, get them winning games on a regular basis. But, at least though, in the last game that he, he would ever play, 992 round 22, his last hurrah, he managed to get the winning try as Gold Coast Seagulls beat Penrith 12 points to 8 in 1992 round 22. So, with um, this game, Gold Coast 12, a try by Wally Lewis and a try by the winger Clinton Moore and the centre Craig Weston getting two goals, while for Penrith, um, a try by the centre Brad Fittler and a try by the 5'8 Steve Carter. Fullback Andrew Lee's missing two goals for Penrith, but Wally Lewis try in particular, it was the match winning try and it was a brilliant situation where he was about say 40 metres out from Penrith's line, saw a bit of a gap in Penrith's defence, put a deft grubber kick through, chased it through, was ankle tapped, but had the presence of mind to um, gather the ball in while he was um, ankle tapped, realised he wasn't held, got up, went again and scored the try, just made it to the try line just in time. So there you go. Out here, in the wilderness on Sunday, Sunday Funday, your boy all day, special little summer just to chuck in for real. Thanks so much for watching, D47.